live in Makoko, a low-income slum, where most houses are made up of woods over the water of Lagos Lagoon in Nigeria. Most, most buildings in our community are made up of hardwoods and supported by pillars that are driven deep into the waterbed so that the house can stand firmly. Our settlement lacks some basic social amenities, such as electricity, schools, and healthcare facilities. Growing up over the years, I've seen some first-hand challenges living in a slum community. Some of these challenges are lack of quality education, child abuse, early teenage pregnancy, lack of electricity. And there's also a high rate of, of drop out of school kids. I would like to share a story of my friend who started primary school at the age of nine. Then he came to me and said, I won't be able, I won't be able to go to school because of my age. Then I said to him, Age shouldn't be a barrier in achieving your dreams. Age shouldn't be an opposing element in whoever you want to be in the next five years, in the next 10 years. After his primary education, he was admitted to junior secondary school and one of the best students in spelling bee competition. He is now a victor and being a victim. He didn't allow his challenges, he didn't allow his environment to determine his future. And there are a whole lot of kids who are doing great things in Makoko community. And that is why my community is special. The children are the soul for our settlement, and education is the best currency for the better future. And this is the reality. During the lockdown, where most students in my community were not opportune to, to go to school. And, and the pandemic taking all over the world like a storm. Luckily for me, I was given an opportunity to participate in the robotic summer camp. And through this camp, I was able to learn a lot beyond my expectation in terms of coding and programming, building of digital circuit, presentation skills, and, and game creation. Then I asked myself, what is my responsibility to take in this situation? What is my major role to play as a future ambassador of my community? Along the line, I was given a robotic skit for me to build my own project during the summer camp. Then I was working independently and relentlessly for me to create one. Surprisingly, I was able to come across an idea of building a social distance alert device, which will help to notify people at least one meter proximity within the next person. So my goal of creating this social distance alert device is to help to minimize the spread of the virus and also preserving my life because life matters. This social distance alert device is made up of some essential components because without this component, my device will not be able to function properly. These components are the Arduino Nano. The Arduino Nano serves as a microcontroller board which you can use to build your electronic project. If I may ask, without our brain, can our whole body function? It can't right because our brain is also part of our body system. And this sounds, and this goes to my Arduino Nano. This is where my codes and programming are stored. Secondly, I also make use of the ultrasonic sensor. The ultrasonic sensor is used to convert electricity to sound waves. And with the help of these sound waves, it can help to determine the distance of an object, either it is far or near. Thirdly, I make use of jumper wires. The jumper wires help to transfer electric current from one component to another. I also make use of a breadboard. A breadboard is used to connect different components so that electricity can run through them. And lastly, I made use of codes and programming. Specifically, I made use of picto blocks. PictoBlock is the programming software which can use to code a circuit, 
create games and animation stories. According to a popular quote by Tim Fago, he said, until you cross over the bridge of your insecurities, you can't begin to explore your possibilities. So no doubt the pandemic has had a significant impact on world economies and human survival. But it has also challenged us to be more adaptive and resilient. It has stirred up our creative potentials and encouraged us to be our best. I believe everyone has a unique talent and potential. Never give up on exhibiting these talents you possess. It may be singing, it may be drawing, it may be designing. Because the greater discovery you can make is self-discovery. Once you can discover yourself, it will help to open the door for every discoveries and opportunities in the world for you. Because of my invention, I was featured on several media platforms where I shared my idea and my voice has been heard in this community, Makoku. My future ambition is to design the first spaceship in Nigeria and also to study at the MIT. But before I leave, I would like to share a poem with you which I composed during the lockdown. A pandemic hit the world like an asteroid. Numerous people fighting for their precious lives like a samurai. People are dying every day. Numerous lives are led astray. Schools were shut down, which embodies students, which allows students to be a dropout. People are striving every day, yet hunger increases day by day. What future are we preserving for the next generation without using our imagination? Thank you.